2022 for me, if I had to describe it, was a year of chaos and upheaval. Um, I lost my dad, I lost my dog, I lost my job. And then starting in December is when the issue with my foot began as an infection. And by February of 2023, I had to go through the amputation. I was uh, amputee coalition. I was uh, advised to check into it while I was going through the process of being amputated from my, my caseworkers in my hospital. I following along, started getting involved with amputee coalition, learning about, you know, reading the blogs, subscribing to Thrive, getting involved with uh, a different you know organization they're involved but also we kind of just learning more to kind of getting shred into the community a little bit i was a world-class hurdler i ran for the university of arkansas uh, i misstepped a hurdle when i was doing a training session which caused a disruption to my popliteal artery and then that caused a, a seven days later an amputation it's been a series of, of kill battles with the most challenging ones being within me uh, but my vision stays clear. I'm doing this to the best of my ability and being content with the situation that I've been given. So I retooled, repurposed myself. Uh, I was on my way to officer candidate school at that time in the United States Army. I was on my way to the Olympic trials and that was gone. So I swam for physical therapy and got so fast in the water that I somehow flew up, messed up and made the Paralympic swim team. Uh, and I went to the, those games uh, in 1996. I saw athletes running with artificial limbs. I had a leg made for running. And then uh, four short years later, I won the silver medal in the long jump in Sydney, Australia. How does it feel being around a bunch of people going through the same thing I'm going through? I've learned as an African-American woman that when I can move about spaces where I don't have to explain myself, that's family, that's your tribe. But then when you branch out and you find a community beyond your nuclear family, beyond your maybe church, beyond your school, where you find like-minded people, meaning some people are in, a sim in the same situation I'm in, but their mindset is not similar to mine. They don't have a growth mindset. And so the growth mindset is key. So it really feels good to be around people that are in different places in the journey but understand exactly where I am because they're either there with me now or they've been here. This event to me, it means I have a community and that's it, man. It's just, there's a community for me.